today I will be making ramen. Ta da! So, this is just how I make ramen when I'm feeling fancy, and I want to show you guys. I'm struggling whether I should make cha chang ramen or cheese ramen. They're both really tasty, but I like cheese ramen a bit more, so I'm gonna make cheese ramen. Let's do it. So, you need two pans one for um, boiling the ramen, and then one really nice pan to serve it in. Should be flat and like really nice and cool. So, yeah, boil some water. Ooh, bubbles! Yay! Ah. Wait, um, it broke in three, so, yeah. Yay! Um, you also need two to different, you, you can use the same chopsticks, but I have these cooking chopsticks, which are really long and I need to cook with, and then I have, um, <laughs> these um, eating chopsticks, so you can just use the same amount of chopsticks. Um, so stir it around and you can let it on for like, I don't know, like three or four minutes. Now I need a chopping board and we're going to chop up some vegetables, so yeah. So the vegetables you'll be needing are spring onion and chilli green chilli that I have lying around, you can eat whatever chilli you want. Um, take it out. Oh, I'm crying. The onions are getting to me. Whew, it's okay. It's all worth it in the end. And then dice it up. So a word of caution, do not touch your eyes or your face. You will get it. So just don't. The ramen is done boiling, so I'm going to strain it and give it a wash. So just strain it. Oh. And then you should rinse it with cold water. This um, allows it to become more chewy and less less um mushy i would say so yeah make sure it's really nice and cold if it's not cold then you're doing it wrong let's go back i got the white parts of the green onion here the green parts of the green onion here and the chili here heat up the pan so um i would like to take some butter so i like to take put some butter in my pan so just like a really little just like that much and then just a little bit of oil you can use olive oil whatever oil you want but i like using olive oil so yeah also how do you like my new hairstyle i really think it looks nice my mom did it because of coronavirus hashtag corona time but you know Desperate calls call for me desperate measures. And I honestly think my mum does my the ha my hair better than the barber does. So, yeah. When the butter is foaming like this, put in your white green onion and your chilli. Oh, that sizzle. Wow. This looks really nice. Um, with the samyang packet, you get this um, paste, so you get to fry it off as well to like caramelize it, I guess, a little bit. Wow. Oh, that looks good. I like just a tiniest bit of sweetness, so let's put a little bit of honey. Very little. 
now to just add the ramen and like fry it as well. Wow, that looks so good. So once you've thinked it, you mixed it well, I'm going to be showing you my trick to the best ramen. Um, I like to add just a little bit of whipped cream and a little bit of mayonnaise. It sounds weird, but just trust me, it's amazing. Seriously, you really might think it's weird, but it's so good. Uh, it does look weird, but I'm telling you, this makes it good. This is what makes it give it flavor. I don't know, I just like it so much. So that's about the amount of whipped cream you put and a amount of mayonnaise. And then you just mix it to create like a circle in the middle to put your egg. I really love eggs, so um, we're going to do it. Okay, so now I'm going to pack in my eggs. I'm adding two eggs because my eggs are really small, but it's really going to be really good. Oh, yes, that's perfect. Look at that. Oh, that's really good. Okay, so take your rolling water and just add just a little bit throughout the pan so that it steams up really nicely. Yeah? But to make it steam, I don't have the, we don't have a lid for this pan, but this will do the work. Okay, so we're now we're down to the last four things we want to add. Um, this is the cheese powder that comes with the ramen. Green, the, the greens of the green onion we chopped um, just then. You also want to put in some gochukaru, but uh, you can also just put in some chili flakes. Here it is, the thing I have been waiting for, cheese. The best thing on old. It's basically like food gold to me. I love it so much. I'm gonna put it in my ramen. So just add the green onion. I like my ramen oniony. From Goshikado, it will taste really nice. So put a lot in. Oh, that looks so good. It's basically cheese and seaweed. So just basically sprinkle it nicely generously on top make sure it's not all on one particular thing then put a very generous helping of cheese this is how i would do it it's already cheese flavored so putting more cheese is a bit weird but i love it so yeah Boom. cover it and wait until the cheese melts i have to wash all this well, it's worth it. And this is a final reveal. I'm really happy of how it turned out. So this is my take on Gujidai style ramen. I actually do this ramen. Like, you might think, oh, I do this only for the camera and then shut it off. I actually do this ramen all the time. And it's so good. And I'm basically, this is my sahor. If you don't know what sahor means, um, in Malay we call it saho. And it's my pre dawn meal because I'm fasting. Shout out to all my Muslims. I'm going to taste it and I hope it turns out good. Oh my god. Oh my god. This tastes heavenly. Like actually, this tastes so good. This will not be good if you are a person who hates spice. Um so any Asians who want to do this, do it. It's so good. Mmm. The green onions are still quite raw and they give it really a nice crunch. The egg is a perfect like perfect for the meal. The noodles are cooked to perfection. 
and the cheese, oh, the cheese gives it that gooiness you need, everything you want. Like I say again, this isn't Gucci Dye Style Ramen, so don't at me. It's really good, but it's my version of it, so yeah. Um, I'm drinking my coffee. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. I'm drinking my coffee because coffee tastes good. And it keeps me awake. And the way I make coffee is so good. I freaking love it. I put just a little bit of chocolate in it, so it's a bit like mocha. Oh. all on my belly and it's so good um i'm literally crying a little bit because it's so spicy but i like it spicy so hope you guys make it it's really good so bye love you i just want to ask you one thing